Hello, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can use sound in SDL with the help of the SDL mixer library. Okay, as you can see I uh, deleted every part of the program which is not needed. I have actually just one rectangle right here which I draw uh, here but all of the others, so the moving collision detection is deleted. Actually we have more squares but none of them move. And if I save it so actually I have this one square, it doesn't move and so on. So yeah, this is our program for now. Uh, yeah, I just uh, leave that square where it is. Okay, so let's get started. First we have to include the library for the SDL mixer. So, without H. Okay, SDL slash SDL mixer dot H. Okay, that's it. So this is the library for SDL mixer. By the way, uh, SDL has a native sound system, although that is not the uh, not for beginners, because you have to manually write to the sound buffer and uh, so on. So yeah, you really shouldn't use it because um, it's complicated and it doesn't uh, it doesn't have any uh, mixing. So if you have two sound effects at the same time, it doesn't mix it. So yeah, uh, that's a problem. And you can do that with code the coding. Obviously, the SDL mixer is do that for us. Actually, it is uh, for it is uh, built upon this uh, native sound system. Just it gives a much higher level uh, interface for us. Okay, uh, SDL mixer doesn't have to initialize, but you can with the mix init function. Okay, uh, you need to initialize whenever you want to load something other than the wave file. I uh, if I know well, although we will work with the base files at the moment. So, we need to create a few new variables from this library. This is the mix chunk. Uh, yeah. You use this mix chunk for effects, like make it effect one, and make another one. This will be the effect two, and we can make music. This is the mix music, and call it music. Okay. There we go, we have a few new variables from this library. We use the mix chunk for effects and the mix music for music. Actually, not uh, there is not too much difference between the two. Uh, yeah, I will tell you what the difference later, but for now we have to actually uh, open it. Okay, we need a kind of initialization, but it's really not an initialization. So we open an audio, so mix open audio like that. It requires four parameters. Mm, we can call it initialization. So you just uh, initialize it with this. So you just tell how to open the music or sound effect uh, which you want. Okay, the first parameter is the frequency. Okay, the, you should use default frequencies. Actually, you can u use anything. This is the uh, 22, oh, never mind, I write it. So this or 41,000. Okay, this the uh, yeah. Okay, so the second parameter is the format. How do you want to open it? Okay, we uh, use the format at the uh, macro, actually a content, which is the SDL default uh, format. Oh, sorry, not SDL. This is the mix. Mix. Uh, it is inside the mix library, so the mixer uh, default format. Okay. The next parameter is the number of channels, so stereo or mono. Uh, we use the two as we use stereo channels, so do uh, two channel. And the last parameter is the a chunk size. Uh, I am not really sure about that, how this is work, uh, because I am not so, uh, uh, so I don't know so much about sound techniques, but basically how much byte uh, chunk is. Oh, never mind, uh, I just used 496. Uh, Actually, I always use, and probably it should be used, uh, uh, 2 in uh, uh, some power, so yeah, 2 in Okay, so that's it, you open the audio, so now you can use other functions to load the effect and load the music. First of all, let's load the music. So, make music equal to uh, mix load mus, so music. And you have to just define the name of uh, the file. I have a file in my desktop called uh, hackbeat.wave. Okay, I just download it from one of the sites where there are free music thing. Uh, okay, so, and uh, now load the effect. So, effect 1 equals to uh, mix load wave. Alright, they use different function, but basically they do the same, load the music. Okay, this one is called effect, uh, effect dot wave. Okay, and I have another effect. So, the effect 2. 2 is equal to mix 
a load wave and I have a bath drum one dot wave okay oh frack it okay this is it now all of the thing is loaded and don't forget that if you load something you have to uh, delete it at the end of the program so before we forget it go right here and you know just uh, delete all of the variable we just created so mix the free chunk and you just give the effects we just uh, created so the effect one and uh, similarly mix free chunk and you give the effect two okay and you have to free the music as well so mix free music and you just give the music to it okay and one last thing is you have to close the audio which opens so mix close audio okay it doesn't require any parameter and you are done okay but the, you have done the initialization and the, the initialization although the music is not playing the effects are not playing so you will hear nothing uh, special so you have to start the effect okay first of all start, start the music so just play the music use the mix play music for that the first parameter is the music so this is the music and the second how much time should it loop so uh, yeah repeat the music if you press zero then it will be just play once and then don't repeat it uh, any time if you press one then it will repeat once if you press minus one then it will uh, repeat it uh, uh, while we don't stop it so yeah okay so now we're playing the music okay and we can try to compile it right now because probably I make a few errors okay okay you have to use a new uh, flag for this uh, header so uh, call it uh, this is the second cpp lsdl this is needed for the sdl and we need an lsdl uh, mixer this is needed for the mixer okay we have a little problem here because of the caps lock so load wave okay now we can compile it probably and run it okay I don't know do you hear it but it plays this very annoying music whenever we play it okay and now play the effects as well okay we use the key down function for that so if the key is down case SDL key down then we just examine which key is pressed so switch key uh, switch event dot key dot key sim dot sim and we just examine the what, what key is pressed okay and in here case uh, sdlk1 so if the uh, one is pressed uh, about the number uh, so the numbers inside the numbers then we just for example play the effect one so we use the sdl sdl <coughs> actually mix play channel for that okay and it will play a channel so an uh, effect actually so the first parameter is which channel do you use for played effect actually in uh, in default i believe there is eight effect and uh, a channel there is h there are eight channel and uh, you can uh, uh, actually play different effect all of the eight channel it will mix together uh, this eight channel is perfect for us because it is enough we don't want to play eight effect at the same time right so yeah we don't need it plus there is a music channel which is uh, separate from that eight uh, and if you close uh, if you uh, stop a channel it will not stop the music so so first of all we have to define which channel do we want to use for play the music we can press minus one for that this will mean that it stored the first channel which is free the second is uh, the second parameter is what do we want to play we play the effect one and the third parameter is how much do we want to repeat it so loop it we re uh, press zero so uh, if i press the key once it will play the effect once okay and then if uh, sdlk2 then we just do actually the same thing except we uh, do it with the effect two okay that's it now we can compile and run the program and i don't know that do you hear it or not whenever I press the 1 or the 2 it gives that weird effect okay so that's it about that 
so yeah there are other functions um, the FDM mixer has a lot of functions like post music, halt music, halt channel and post channel, resume channel, rhythm music, fade in channel, fade in music and a lot of other so I will not go into all of them but you will find it in the SDL, documenta SDL mixer documentation if you are really interested about that but these are the basic, the mix play channel which will play a sound effect, the mix, uh, where is it? up here so the mix play music which play the music the load wave and the load muse which load it and open audio which open it and the free things so free chunk free music and close audio this is the most important I believe okay but as I said there are a lot of others so if you want then you can use it uh, so see in the FDL the mixer documentation if you want to know all of the function all right uh, that's it for this tutorial and thank you for watching and have